Hey everyone, the Gamer Chief here. Today we're going to be going over how to create your own custom loading screen and get it all set up from start to finish so that way you can have your own custom loading screen, get it into its own add-on, upload it on the workshop, set up on your server, all of that. So we're going to go ahead and get started right now. And to get started, let's go ahead and quickly set up our environment here. I'm going to be creating a new folder on my desktop to get everything stored in. And I'm just going to call this Daisy Mods for now. And then in here, I'm going to create a new folder as well. And I'm just going to call it Loading Screen Stuff. And we'll be putting all our loading screen related items in there in just a moment here. We're going to go ahead and open up Steam. So we're going to go ahead and search for Daisy Tools, and it's right here, and we can go ahead and install that. If it doesn't show up in your search, you might need this. I think this is default to show tools as well, though. So Daisy Tools, and then install this. It takes literally a couple seconds. And that finished up. Like I said, it only takes a few seconds depending on your internet speed. We're going to go ahead and launch that, and we'll hit Play Daisy Tools. And this is going to go ahead and open up our base Daisy tools here. There's a bunch of different tools and we'll use a couple of these, um, but we'll jump into that in a little bit. Um, you don't need to set up a work drive. Um, if you wanted to, you can. It gives you like a P drive in your windows here to where if you go to this PC, you'll add a full thing here. That's not very necessary. And we don't need to extract game data as well out of here. I believe there, yeah, there's a way to do it that way, but we're just going to jump straight into Workbench. And in here, we're going to click on Workbench options, and then there's a source data directory. So we're going to go ahead and press these three dots here to set this. And I'm just going to use Daisy Mods as my directory. You can really put this anywhere. I'm putting it on my desktop. You may want to put it in a different place in case you're going to keep it long term. Totally up to you. So we'll do that. It does require a restart. We'll press OK. We'll say yes, we do want to restart. And the next step is to go ahead and create an image. So I have Photoshop open here, and what I have created here is a 256 by 1440 image. So you do new, and then you can do a custom one here. So we're going to do 2560, so 2560 by 1440, and then I leave this typically as 300. And what you do is just go ahead and create something basic here, um, whatever you really want to put on your loading screen. And the reason why we do 2560 by 1440 is because that's 1440p. Um, you typically want to have a nice high resolution image. I don't think 4K is really necessary. Most people don't have more than 1440p monitors. Some people have 4K. If you really want to do 4K, you can. You just need to make sure the image you use is divisible by 16 on both sides. And as we can see here, I threw together a super quick loading screen, um, random image I found off Google and credited some YouTube, Discord, uh, you can put your rules here, just whatever you really want to put on here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and export it. Again, you don't have to use Photoshop, you can use whichever photo editing program you want. And I'm going to quick export as a PNG. And then I'm going to go into Daisy Mods here, loading screen stuff. And then I'm going to just save this as loading screen dot png if i could type it is important that it is a png file um jpegs will not work for this next step we'll go ahead and save that and i'm going to close out of photoshop for now as i don't need it anymore and if we look in here loading screen stuff we do have this so loading screen dot png everything looks good to go we're going to go into workbench again we're going to go into source data we set this earlier on but in the options here and then we're going to go into loading screen.png, double click that, should pop up here. Make sure it's a PNG, not a JPEG, learn that one the hard way. We're going to right click on it, and then we're going to do register, source, and import. And it's going to go ahead and create an EDDS file for us, which is what we want. And we're actually done with Workbench, so we can go and close out of that. And if we see here, we have loading screen.eddes, um, so that's the file we'll actually use. And then there's also a meta file. We don't actually need it. You can keep it. I'm just going to delete it because we're not going to end up using it. Next, you're going to want to go ahead and download the project files. Um, this is for the actual add-on. It will be linked um, to my GitHub in the description. This is using a base template um, as well that basically everyone uses. It just does a quick override. So you'll go ahead and click on code, download zip, and this is going to go ahead and download the zip file here. And since it's a zip file, make sure you have something like uh, 7-zip or any other program that can open it. Windows 10 can open zip files natively now, so same thing. 
And then we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to drag this into here. And I can close 7-zip now, so we now have this folder. And then I'm going to delete the license and read me as I don't need it. And we just have our loading screen here. And this comes with everything you need, the GUI, all the override scripts, all that stuff, um, and it's all good to go. It does have this loading screen that I just created already in here, but I'm going to go and copy this since we just created this beforehand. And I'm going to go ahead and override that. So this has our new custom loading screen right here. So here's our structure again. So we go into Daisy Mods, Loading Screen Stuff, and then you have Daisy Custom Loading Screen right here, and then you have this Loading Screen folder. We're going to change this folder structure just a little bit. I'm going to rename this base folder here of the Daisy Custom Loading Screen. I'm going to go ahead and name this Add-ons. And this is getting us prepared to publish this. So, and then we have and here, loading screen, this will become loading screen.pbo in a little bit. And then I'm going to create a new folder here. And this one, you can name this whatever you want. Um, I'm going to say at TGC loading screen video. And then I'm going to go and just drag and drop this add ons folder into there. So this is your mod folder. This is what your mod um, layout is going to look like. So it needs to match this. This at is the mod name. You can name this whatever you want, typically server name, loading screen, um, server name, LS, whatever. Um, you could also, if you are doing a mod um, with multiple files, you could do this, go into your add-ons and you can have loading screen, custom sounds, other custom images, stuff like that. But your base structure is mod name. You can have this whatever you want. You have to have an add-ons folder here. So make sure you have an add-ons folder, capital A. And then loading screen, this has to stay exactly this way as well, just being loading screen. So next we need to go ahead and turn this folder from lo just a loading screen folder with all the stuff in it into what's a, called a PBO file. PBO files are what uh, Bohemia Interactive game files are stored in. So um, all your Arma and Daisy related mods and game files are stored in those. We're gonna go back into Daisy tools. We're gonna go ahead and open up add-on builder. And then this should probably be blank starting off. If you go into the options here, you can change certain things if you'd like to, you don't really need to. You can change the author name if you don't like what it's currently set to. So we're gonna do an add on source directory. And then I'm just gonna go into here, I'm gonna go into daisy mods, and then I'm gonna click on loading screen here. So it's daisy mods, loading screen stuff, um, at TGC loading screen video, add ons loading screen. So that's our source directory because it has all of our files that we're going to turn into a PBO. And then the destination of where you want it to actually get dropped, I'm going to actually put this in just one folder above it. So Daisy Mods and then TC, or Loading Screen Stuff, TCG Loading Screen Video, and Add-ons. We want to put an Add-ons folder. Press OK. And then typically you want to clear the temp folder. You do want to binarize. You don't want to binarize all textures. You can enable logging if you want, if it airs out. Um, I know this won't air out, so it's fine. And that build is super fast and successful. And if we go back here, you now have loading screen.pbo. Um, typically you cannot open these files um, without using an extractor tool. I have PBO manager, so I can actually just quickly peek at this um, and see Yep, looks good. There's a GUI, scripts, config, and your loading screen. Um, PBO Manager will also be linked in the description as well. And we can go ahead and close Atom Builder. We're done. And then we're done with this loading screen folder. Um, we can actually move it completely out in case you want to work on it later on. So I'm going to just put it in here. So we can always make edits and repack it later on into a PBO again. But this is all you need. You need, you know, your at TGC loading screen or whatever you call your mod add-ons, and then just loading screen.pbo. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and sign it. Um, all mods um, require a signature to validate um, that they haven't been tampered with by cheaters, or at least you should have signature verification turned on for your server if you don't like you know, constant cheats. So we'll go back into Daisy Manager here, and we're gonna use a utility called dsutils, and this allows us to sign things. So we need to create a private key first off. So we're going to press the end button here to create a new key. So I'm going to call this TGC and then of where to put the destination of creating this key. I'm going to go ahead and go into my desktop here, Daisy mods, 
I'm gonna put key stuff, just a new folder so it's safe there. And then use this authority to sign files. So we're gonna go ahead and create a key with the name TJC. It says make sure to protect your private key well. Only public keys can be distributed with your content to the public. I'll explain what that means in a second here. So it created the key and it actually went ahead and selected it for us. So what we're gonna do, just so I can quickly explain it, key stuff here, it generates a few things. So the buy key is what you put into your server um, keys folder, so that way your server accepts it. This private key is what you sign add-ons with, so don't give this out as it allows people to sign add-ons as you, and any server that accepts this key here can accept mods based that were signed with this private key. So never give the private key to anyone, and then since this is a private mod essentially, there's no need to give the buy key out. If this was a public mod to where you wanted other people to host out on their servers, you need to give this out as well. That way they can go ahead and um, add it to their keys folder as allowed. Um, so just keep that in mind and we'll install this into our server in a moment. So right here, our private key is selected tgc.bykey and it's this location we're working out of. Next, we need to add a source directory. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to our desktop again. Daisy mods, loading screen stuff, loading screen, add-ons. It has only one add-on that we need to sign. We're gonna go and process that. And it's gonna go ahead and sign it. It signed it successfully. We can go in here and verify that. Yep, so it has um, loading screen.pbo.tgc.by sign. So we have a signature here. And that's just to ensure that no one is modifying your add-on in order to put you know, cheats or something like that in there. It needs to be signed to know that it's legitimate and hasn't been tampered with. So we're gonna go ahead and close DSUtils as we do not need that anymore. And now we're gonna go ahead and publish our add-on onto the workshop so other people can download it and join your server. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the publisher. And you can see I have a couple different published items here. So we're gonna be creating a new workshop item. I'm gonna call it TGC um, loading screen video, since that's the what we ended up calling this mod right here. And then we do need to make sure it's public. It is a mod. There's no tags we need to change here. You can add stuff if you really want to. And then the mod content, we're gonna go ahead and browse. We'll go to the desktop here. Daisy mods, loading screen stuff, and then just at TGC loading screen video or whatever you named it, as you can name that folder or whatever. And it should say mod content structure seems to be valid. If it doesn't, make sure you're following the structure that I showed to where it's the mod name, at mod name, add-ons, and then your PBO and your signature. It should also show up signatures here saying all signed, and if you mouse over, it tells you what it's been signed by, TGC. That is perfect, that is what you want. Um, if it's not signed, something went wrong, make sure you try your signing again. And you can add a description here, I'll throw something in. So we got something there, you do have to agree with the Steam license, and we're gonna publish it. And it says it was successfully published, so I'm gonna go ahead and open item web page. It opens it in our Steam client here, it is published and good to go. So now all we have to do is add it onto our server and then we should be able to join. Alrighty, and we are now logged into our server here so we can go ahead and make some adjustments. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I am using Omega Manager. If you're not, don't worry, I'll show you how to do it in just a moment. I'm gonna go into the overview on my server here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go into mod configuration here. It shows all the current mods that I have here. And then I'm just gonna search for our mod since it is public on the workshop, other players do need to download it as well to join. And as you can see, our new one actually isn't here yet. Omega Manager may take up to 10 minutes to update the list. So I'm just gonna go ahead and check on that again in a moment here. And after doing a force upstream check, I just decided to restart Omega Manager instead of waiting. If you wait, it will also eventually pull it. But we see here now by searching TGC, the new one shows up. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it here. And I'm just gonna add it to the bottom. I don't think it really matters where it is in the priority list as far as I can tell, unless there's nothing that would override it. So I'll leave it there. We'll go ahead and save our changes. We'll go back to our dashboard. We'll go ahead and hit install untracked mods now. And it went ahead and installed that. We do have to reboot it for it to go ahead and take effect. 
And now that that's starting, if we take a look here, you can see that at TGC loading screen has been moved into here. So if you're not using Omega Manager, all you have to do is, I'll just kind of move this off to side, is take your at loading screen or whatever you have it called here, and this entire folder, you wanna copy it into your server folder and then make sure it's launching as a regular mod. And then one thing you may keep in mind is most public mods come with a keys folder, which has that by key. Well, we don't really want that because we don't want other servers using our particular loading screen, just ours. So we don't include it in our publication. So instead we just go over to keys here. Oh, but if I could get that correctly, keys. And these are all the different keys that are accepted for different mods. I'm just gonna move this over. We're gonna go into our key stuff here. Take this by key, we're gonna copy this. And then we're just gonna go ahead and paste it in here. So having that in there will now mean that our server can accept clients who are using mods with this by key. So that will accept our mod and let us in. I'm gonna restart it one more time and then we'll go ahead and join and make sure everything looks as we expect it to. Already here and our server has launched and if we search our server, our video series one, you can see it's the loading screens on the edge there. You could also go into info here and see the full thing and see, yep, there it is, it is good to go. Uh, sometimes it does take a little while for the launcher to update, so feel free to you know, wait 10 minutes, or you can also manually re-add your server to the launcher and it'll check it again immediately. If it's not showing here, even after doing a recheck, likely you forgot to enable it or something went wrong with installing it on your server. So make sure that you have that fully installed and give it a go again. So since we have that, we're going to go ahead and hit play and try to join and make sure that loading screen is there. And it will also tell us that we are missing this mod because I haven't subscribed to it yet on the workshop. So I'm gonna say yes, go ahead and fix that. It's gonna download it for us and then we'll go ahead and try that again. And that should be done, so let's go again. And then as we can see here, it looks like our loading screen is working. It looks like my game launched in windowed mode, so we will fix that in a moment here. But everything looks good. Yeah, so we are loading in here. Alrighty, and I now have this full screen as well, so we're gonna just exit and just double check everything looks good. So we saw that flash there. We're gonna go and rejoin. And as you can see, it loads up our loading screen again during our 15 second cooldown. And that's really it. Um, there are a few issues as noted on the GitHub page and a little bit earlier. Uh, widescreen ultra wide monitors, this uh, doesn't fully stretch properly. Um, but that's a known issue, um, and I don't believe that's been really resolved in any way. And then of course this does not work on expansion, but there will be another video on that extremely soon um, regarding how to do it on expansion, which also involves um, rotating um, different images in and out, so you can have multiple of them. And there may even be one regarding how to add audio, we'll see about that. Probably going to be an expansion only one though. So I'm just going to go and sit down here and log out. Um, just quickly go over, if you guys have any issues, I really recommend um, re-watching the video. Skipping a step or missing a step is typically why things are not going correctly. If you still can't figure it out, as always, there's comments and there's my Discord, which is linked below. Um, there's a support channel there that we kind of jump in, help resolve issues and stuff like that. And that's about it. We are looking at the workshop page here that we had created and uploaded. If we scroll down now, we do have one subscriber now, which is ourselves, um, so we could join. And everyone else should automatically download it if you're using Daisy Sandla Launcher and whatnot on their way in, and everything should work. As always, if there's any questions, leave them below or any video suggestions. And other than that, have a good one.